Hi there, in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to export foundation layout to AutoCAD from Ryan. So this is what we have designed so far in our last section for we inserted part base and we designed this part base. So if you've not watched our previous tutorial, please do watch our previous tutorial. So I'm going to turn this to 3D. So I'm going to come to this icon here that's written p and plan view only i'm going to click on it and i'm going to zoom out so i'm going to go to this as foundation which is a story which is story zero zero so i'm going to double click on it so this is our foundation so this is what we have designed so far so i want to export these to autocad now before you export this to autocad you must have launched your autocad already so i've launched my autocad already so it's launched so it's in the background so when i export this you're going to see it so if i move down this my autocad so i will launch it already so i'm going to go to file to export it so i'm going to go to i'm going to go to this export which is model stroke file export so i'm going to export it now i'm exporting it as a dxf file so i'm going to click on export so this comes out so i don't want i'm going to say edit drawing object uh, view is checked this is checked so and now i'm going this also is checked group drawing object now if i group this drawing object i won't be able to edit it on autocad except i explode it and i'm going to check this to say no i don't want it to be grouped i want it to be in its own units and i'm going to say okay i'm, I'm fine with this i'm fine with this and i head down with all this now if you're okay with grouping you can group but i don't i don't want to group because i want to edit it in autocad to make it nice and neat for my printing so i'm going to say okay because i'm done with my settings now it's exporting so this is autocad ready so it's smart very smart software so autocad sees this and picks this up so uh, autocad has picked it up so and uh, these are displays and this is how we have spotted it so this is r14 which is one meter which is 1000 millimeters by 1000 millimeters now you can see them this is also an all is export this is our sheet now we can take this out when we want to print because we're going to do another border so we can take this out and you can also bring in your title block here so you can print it if you want to now this is the layout for the footings that this is the arrangement for the footing now each footing is on a grid now i'm going to go to I want to make it visible because it's not visible so i'm going to make it a little bit visible for you now this is my layer man my layer property so i'm going to click on this my layer because all of this is in layers now it comes up so i want to expand this so i'm going to move my cursor as it gets to this my layer properties now it becomes an arrow facing two directions so i'm going to left click all my mouth mouse key down and pull now it begins to get expanded so when i release it's expanded i'm going to do that some more so pull away a release so now i'm doing this so that we can be able to to make this some um, visible now this color here is not visible and it looks so so a little bit um uncomfortable to me so i'm going to make it visible so i'm going to click on it now it tells me the layer it said axis text 2 so i'm going to come to this axis text 2 i'm going to where is it let me expand this now okay look at it here so i'm going to look for axis text 2 so axis text 2 this is it so axis text 2 so i'm going to make it a little bit visible i'm going to make it yellow so i'm going to make it yellow so i'm going to go back make this one also i'm going to make it yellow i'm going to turn this one also to become yellow now you see all oh, it's now yellow all axis becomes yellow now it's visible we can see this a now this is one and this also uh is a on this other part so you can change whatever you want to just do some few edit 
if you want to you can change this our hashing pattern you can double click on it to change this our hashing pattern if you want to i can change the color make it anything you want to before printing you can decide to turn all of this off if you want to you can turn this off but let me, let me color my grips so i can just click on this so okay i have food in text so food in text i don't want food in text because food in text is somehow making my my drawing to be clumsy so i'm going to go to that list i'm going to click on this electric bulb here i'm going to turn this off so i'm going to click on this electric bulb i'm going to freeze it and it goes out so this also is making my text so you're going to make some few ready and make sure it's nice and neat so that's that guys so i now to export foundation layer from orion to autocad for printing you give us a thumbs up if you like our video and also subscribe to our channel for more designs coming up on orion see you in our next tutorial